You just got your breast pump and it's time to use it for the first time, which means you need to clean and sterilize it. The most common method to you'll find on your instructions is to actually boil it in a pot of water. There are different parts. There's the hard uh, plastic parts and generally some silicone or rubber parts. Those you have to be a little bit more careful of not to warp or distort them didn't know already or you're just preparing for your breastfeeding journey you can actually get your breast pump for free through your insurance so make sure you look into that one of the things that I love um, that I've used for the past two pregnancy is a wearable breast pump when you are a busy mom on the go and you have many responsibilities on top of taking care of other children it's really helpful to have a breast pump you can just stick right in and go with you. Hands-free is the way to go. One breast pump that was included in, as an option for my insurance was the Free Me Independence 2. And this is really nice because it just clips onto your belt. You wear your cups, there's some tubes that can come out and through your shirt and you can be on the go. There's so many other great breast pumps. So check out some of the other options out there as well. But what you wanna do when you get your breast pump is to first clean them within warm soapy water. So this is what would sit inside your, your bra. It comes out with the cup. This piece here, the duckville, which is more rubbery. And then this piece here. When we are sanitizing, we are going to start with the hard plastic. The directions on the package say to sterilize in boiling water for 10 minutes. I already have a pot of boiling water going. So once I clean these in soapy water, I'm gonna bump those in. Let's wash first and then we'll put them in the pot of water. Okay, first things first, we're gonna add some warm soapy water right in there, add all the parts in. Clean your pump parts at least once a day when you're using them. If you're using them in between uses, you can actually um, store them in the fridge in a gallon Ziploc bag. Do not have to clean them in between every use, just once a day. Um, so that makes it so much easier. I think places hard to reach. Make sure you grab one that has a, a piece that can get into those small and tight spaces. We're gonna rinse and get them ready to go into boiling water. Always have a separate bottle brush just for the pump parts and bottles. These ones can be especially tough because of the small spaces. So do your best to get in there. Make sure you grab that extra small piece. When you're dealing with the duck bills, you want to make sure you're extra gentle because you don't want to push anything through it. If you compromise the, the tightness of the bill, it actually will affect your suction and the whole pump. So make sure you're very gentle, get inside, but don't push anything through. Um, it's also recommended to replace these parts specifically every three months because you need it to be tight in order to have the best suction. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, put these in, um, make sure to get them fully submerged in all areas. I'm going to hold off on any of these rubber silicone pieces and get just the hard plastic pieces in here. I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and let those boil and um, sterilize. When you are sterilizing your equipment, there are a few options you can use. Um, the first being um, in a pot of boiling water. Another being steam distillation that you can use. You can also do that with microwave steam. They have microwave steam bags. Um, I prefer not to use those only because um, I don't love using the microwave anyways and when, especially when you're microwaving plastic, um, there's just a lot that can kind of um, play into that. Also electric sterilization and chemical sterilization. 
The chemical sterilization, there are um, products you can get to, to sterilize without any water or heat. However, you are using chemicals. So that's something that I prefer not to do, especially because I don't want any type of chemicals mixing in with the milk that my baby is going to eat. You are going to remove your parts um, from the steam. Make sure that you drain out all the water and um, either place them on a towel, on a drying rack, um, but let them air dry and fully dry before your use. At this point is when I like to sterilize the rubber and silicone parts. Water has been boiled, it is turned off. I am going to add in any of the rubber and uh, pieces and my pacifiers for three minutes in the boiled pot of water, but not still boiling. Making sure everything is fully submerged and make sure it doesn't touch any of the edges. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to like and follow for other helpful mom content. Mm -hmm.